What's up guys? So today I'm going to start up a series for Automation Empire. Um, I actually really enjoy this game. Played it quite a bit. Um, so we've got four maps done. 54 hours on the game. So that tells you about how long it takes to do a map. I mean it's it's not a quick game. Um, oh that's a whole... I've already got this one started. Okay so we're going to go to a new guy here. Well, I haven't been to yet, and we will call it oh, call it IG starter mode. I'm gonna turn that off. That gives you some basic uh, buildings, which not buildings, but a couple basic items, which is really good for when you first start. But I've been playing it for a while, and it just turns into those items are in my way or. It kind of presets where you're at, you know, it already has uh, the trucks going through. Uh, so it really predetermines a lot of stuff for you. So I turn that off and then I go through and uh, figure out exactly where the best resources are and how I want to play it. So take a quick look around. Um, we got a bunch of different items here. So I might be able to Oh, that's the edge of the map. Uh, that's gonna screw me. Each time you, uh, each new map gets a little bit harder. You can see the red line here that indicates the edge of the map. So I have to have somewhere that the trucks can come in and get out pretty easily. That road kind of short. So we got more stuff here. Edge of the map's there. Down here, here's the edge of the map. So it looks like trucks are gonna have to come in right around in this area. That's all oil, can't do anything with that yet. We will start off, trucks coming in here, I think. Get a pretty basic uh, setup going. So I'll bring the trucks in. Um, tell you what, let's, let's go ahead and put out one of this guy. I'm going to go through, click around uh, 700 million times before I find what I'm actually looking for. Alright. So it took me a long time before I decided that I would actually buy this game. Um, I watched a lot of videos on it. Determined if it was something I was going to like or not. Turns out uh, it was. I really enjoy it, so put a couple guys out. Gotta make sure I don't lose all my money before I even get started here. We'll make, we'll go right there. The first one. Back out, uh, I'll probably make an exit right up here. And down the road, you'll always, I mean, end up realigning everything, putting things to different spots. Uh, yeah. Definitely don't be afraid to change your setup around. Um, like right now, I'm already going to end up putting a new guy here. Uh, let's see. So if I were to go three wide that. Oh, no, that's not going to work. So I want to try to get them to where they're as close to each other as possible. You know, I'll end up having this guy come off the side. This guy come off the side here, and then I'll have two of the crate makers side by side. Put another um, loading point right here. So it's just gonna it's gonna take a little bit here to get it set up, get everything going, move my capture screen around. I got it all set up for Snow Runner right now. Of course, everything's on a different area on my screen, so we're already in the negative. I mean, starting off is pretty rough. I got a long passageway here. That's a lot of excess money. This game is all about efficiency. Um, yeah, it's a lot of dead space here. 
a lot of dead space. So if you click on the entry point, you can see the little timer filling up. And as you go, you can decrease that timer with the research points. So that helps out a lot. Uh, the thing I've noticed is that the drones <coughs> are really stupid. You know, if you had six drones out here, they're all going to go for the same box. And they're all going to go for the one spot left on the truck. So you have to kind of keep your ratio pretty close together. Um, you want to get to where they, they're keeping up well. But <coughs> that doesn't always help out. So let me see here. If I move that to one, that would line up. I think I think that I could actually do that. We're gonna go ahead and delete this. Put nope, it won't line up. So it's a lot of trial and error as you can see. Go ahead and delete that guy. We'll put a new piece in right there. Put this guy here. Move the crate makers around. That way I have the unloading, or I guess the loading points. No, unload stations. I have them right next to each other so my drones aren't going, you know, to this point and then to another one over here somewhere. Um, one thing that kind of sucks is that you can't speed up time, so you just kind of have to wait. And like right now, we're output of 12 kilograms, minute numbers. Uh, I haven't finished a full month yet, and you know, we're still going. Good news is I'm so positive. So I had that first truck go through, and we're good to go now. So um, one thing that's nice is that whenever you sell something, it's you get the full value back so i'm a big fan of that it makes it to where rearranging is not that big of a deal so don't forget that just rearrange 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 get whatever is the most beneficial for you and uh you're going to constantly constantly be changing your system up Or, uh, when we're first starting off, you want to try to get the best position as possible so you don't have to move too much. You know, whenever you're having to redo a truck line, it kind of sucks. But, um, like right now, I'll be able to add more exit points here, more exit points there. You get more roads all up in here. You have to keep your entry, road entries within, you know, a certain distance of each other. So I can slide one over, put it right here, and get it closer once I rearrange these guys but your exit points don't have to be right next to each other so I can put an exit point right here assuming that I have the money for it but once I rearrange my crate maker setup here I will move the road over and take a minute Be a lot of um, cutting the video on these guys because you gotta just let it run. You know, it's not it's not a very fast-paced game. And if I showed it from start to finish, I mean, hell, I got 53 hours on it, 54 hours on it for five maps, four completed, one that's pretty close. So you're looking at quite a long time. And I'm getting faster, but as you go, the maps get harder. So, I got gold and iron right there so that's gonna be great for whenever I am mixing items together that'll be a beautiful thing to have see that's an exit point so I will put this guy here I think bring the road straight down this little platforms are worth $10,000 a piece though Realistically, I don't need to have this guy right here yet. I can save my money on there. One is just not producing enough. <clears throat> Starting off, man, I'm telling you, it, it, it's rough. A little bit 
little by little, you get things going. Crate maker would be in the way right about there. We would be good on the crate makers not being in the way. So this kind of depth. Bring it in right here. It's set up differently. Where is it at? There. Back in. Go ahead and get some power going to these. There we go. This turned on. Get an exit point. We'll put it right here for now. There we go. We'll go ahead and delete this guy. That's a lot of excess money just sitting there. Down the road, I'll have to do something like that, but uh, for now, we'll be good to go. Let's go ahead and put a second truck stop in here. Probably not really the brightest idea I've ever had. We're going to do it anyways. Turned on. Get this turned on. Oh no, not that. Yeah, so that sucked. That sucked. That cost me some money. So then we'll go ahead and get another guy in. And you can press spacebar and it brings in uh, just copies and clones of whatever you're looking at. Alright, so there we go. Now see, we got that truck that just drove by because they filled up this guy first, started to, and then they went to there. So what I can do is I can lower this down to like medium, and they'll target this guy first. So another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add another drone in. Since we've got two truck stops, we're going to get that second drone in there. We're going to want to get a research bay in pretty soon. Uh, we're going to throw it right here for now. Can't afford this guy yet. But I got two trucks that are about to go out. So we were at 12. Um, in the first month, first three months settings, we were at 12. We're already up to 42. Uh, the 12 obviously wasn't for the very end of the month. It was just like a partial month. So 100% accurate on the the weights, but it's something. Gives me a little starting point to see how this guy started coming down here. Because he recognized that there was one spot left, so he came over here first. But since there's not a truck here, now they're going to go up here and try to uh, fill him up. But now there's a truck, they're going to come back down here. And that guy's just going to kind of sit there for a minute. Go ahead and put this guy in. He's got power going to it. There. We got enough to go ahead and start stockpiling. Okay, well, we had enough. Give you just a second to get that truck out of here. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and start stockpiling, and then we'll get the uh, research center going. That's going to cost me 10 grand. We got two trucks about to go out. We got 60k. Notice these guys aren't pumping anything out right now. Um, <clears throat> this one really doesn't have anything stored up. This guy does because, you know, it's full right there. Um, so one thing you can do is we're doing raw iron, which if you look here, raw iron is worth 1K. It's, uh, the weight is only 1K. So you come in, you can look at the weight or the worth for it, and per each one, is 1,255 because I still have a little bit of bonus going on. So it's $1,200 times six per each truck. If I were to refine things, it would be worth a lot more, but that just takes time. It takes time for you to get there. Put that in. I've got way too many power lines just going all over the place, but 
That's just the way it's going to be for now. I could probably get another drone in, but I don't have trucks that are bypassing. If I had trucks that were just driving by, then I would spend the money and put another drone in, but we don't have that problem at the moment. The record we've got for our three month is 66, and this one we just oh, just started the month. We're in the first quarter, and we're at 60 for the current three month. You notice that guy waited until there was a truck here before he picked up a box. It's annoying, but it is what it is. So we got two trucks just went out. First one got us up to 66 because he had six crates on it. This guy's going to give us another six. The second truck got us another six. And our record's up to 72. So we're doing good there. Um, if I want to get more trucks in at a time without doing the research on it, the guy here, if I want to do that, then I would just add a second road in. Probably put a stopping point here. But I just, I don't have the capacity to have to worry about that. So what I can do is either build a whole nother crate maker system or I could do minecart system. Just drop it off into here. Keep on feeding this guy. Or I could even feed this lower one. Doesn't really make any difference. Whatever your preference is. I can start carting in stuff from the outer limits here. So we're going to let this run a little bit and then uh, we'll move on, get a few upgrades going, let this guy cook, get some research points in, and upgrade our truck speed. Our first one, we need 50k research. We're obviously at zero and we're at 6,000 in here. It's going to be at like 20,000, I think, by the time I can claim it. So we let it run for a little bit and we'll see what happens. All right, so we've done a few upgrades here. Um, I moved this around, put everything on this side of the road here. I'm actually going to be putting in a factory over here. I just unlocked the refinery, which when you unlock the refinery, you get a factory. Next step is going to be this guy here. Um, I decided not to increase my truck speed at the moment because I'm not really ready for it. So right now, I'm just burning through the rest of my supplies, which it looks like I have done. Start getting rid of all this stuff. Once it's producing empty boxes, we'll go uh, change it around a little bit again. Right now, I'm sitting at 175 grand. Oh, I guess that's good timing. I'm sitting at 175 grand. 210 grand or 218 grand. Am I gonna have enough? Yeah, I'll be able to finish that off. Go ahead and get ready to reroute the power. Clear this guy, clear that guy. Done. All right, so we are going to go ahead and put my factory in. Going to put it just like this. 32 grand worth. Make our doorways here for everybody coming out. To a whole line of doors. Okay, and then coming in, this train's gonna have to come in. Go ahead and construct that. Now we have that guy set up. Go ahead and bring it in like this. Um, let me see. We're gonna do a little temporary setup. I'm at least collecting. Now, ideally, you want to go ahead and have your uh, step conveyors unlocked. I don't have enough yet to do that. So we're gonna do this a little bit of a different way. Let me just make sure I've got this lined up right so I don't have to rearrange a whole bunch of different times. Yes, no. This all needs to get shifted over by one. And delete that, that, and that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this guy here. Hope I got to bring power in. 
as neat as I can. Okay. So for now, we're actually going to use the big guys. Bring it down to the end. Without having some big, long, massive um, conveyor. They're going to have a pretty decent size, but we'll deal with that. This guy set up with every three. Now, typically you'd want to count it out, make sure you're lining up right, but yeah, I'm a big fan of having to count everything out. Like I said, this is just a temporary setup just to be able to process some items. This guy on. Okay. So now we're producing again. To be helpful. Now what I could do is run this, um, my piping down through the center, spread these out a little bit, just have one set of pipes down the middle. But since I'm gonna be completely rearranging, putting these guys right up against the side, close to the edge as I can. I don't want to mess with that at the moment. Right now we're just trying to get the, the cash flow going again. So we can claim that. Go ahead and unlock this guy. Get ready to set it up again. But yeah, like I said when earlier, when you have to that in the wrong spot again. So like I said earlier, you have to constantly, constantly be readjusting everything. So I said I want to move. Put this guy over here. Okay, sorry, I'm moving around my capture screen again. All right, delete that, delete that. Are you done? Each, each crate maker has like a little bit of um, a little bit of a self storage going on. And we want to that in here, right there. That's lined up. Ah, oh, this is lined up for the cranes. All right. So again, we have to move everything over. We're gonna leave that guy there for now. Go ahead and move this guy in. Done. All right. Put this guy here, that guy there. This one's gonna skip every two. I'm just going to skip every one. Then I'm going to bring it all out. This. Bring them all over like that. And they're all consolidated back down into one. Got empty crate here. That gets to the end, it's gonna automatically destroy, but it's not gonna automatically destroy everything else. If you want to do that, you have to turn on destroy all crates. I don't really want to do that at the moment. But now we are refining our iron, which if we look at our weight, it was one. Now refined iron is ten. Plus, instead of it being worth one thousand after the bonus was over, it's now gonna be worth eighteen hundred. So you're going to see a pretty hefty increase in the amount of weight that we put out along with our profit margin is going to increase rather nicely. I think what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to go ahead and set this guy back up just so I can empty it out.
we're gonna do this. There we go. So we're just gonna empty out this container. Um, once that's done, I will delete it and be preparing to expand a little bit more. So we're gonna let this run for a little bit and then we will come back. All right, so I have added on <coughs> the second crate maker, three more of the refiners, and I did basically the opposite here. So I brought my uh, unload station out right next to the other one. I have also added four more drones, so I had to build another drone factory. Um, and obviously you can expand this all the way down if I had more materials coming in, which I don't. So once I get more materials coming in, I will expand that, otherwise I might bring in from the other side and do my coal right here. Just do the exact same setup, just coming in from the other direction. Um, I added another research bay, so I can hopefully get my research up a little bit faster. As you can see, my trucks are moving out way faster. This is the only one filling up, and I have backups here. So I need to hurry up and get my truck speed increased which this guy should be yeah we're almost there we're at 42,000 this will give me another 20 I will increase my truck speed and hopefully we can keep up which it looks like now the raw material is not keeping up how much did I just increase that it took a uh, one and a half seconds off this guy has some built up not much So that's taking the first two. Taking one. Yeah, it's taking one. Going up here? Nope. So now we're running out of raw materials coming in. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to re move my research bays around. Take them somewhere else, probably to over here, somewhere that I'm not pulling materials from. And then uh, allocate this kind of material here. That won't fit, but what I could do, do that. Now it's gonna take all this material and put it into here. It's gonna be, yeah, I can also do that. So we'll do that. We will delete this. Hopefully there's enough in here to finish these guys off. I kind of doubt it since I just claimed them, but we'll see, we'll see. So that's where I'm at now. Um, the next episode, I'm going to bring in another set of materials, and hopefully I will have this guy upgraded. And more trucks coming through, more materials going out. Let me show you where we're at here. So we're already at 16.20 in a month. So we're making progress. You know, we started off with 12, we went up to like 66, got up to like 100, and now we're at 16.80. And that's our best so far. That's where we're at this specific three month period. See that, that's leaving perfectly. So realistically what I could do is even if I need to save some money is delete this guy. That'll give me 10 grand back, replace with two, four, six, eight hundred dollars worth of roading or roads. And uh, that'd be good, but no, nope. so that would miss it. And then I'd be short of truck. So we're gonna, we're gonna play around with it a little bit. Get this as my secondary season going on. See if we can't get this this uh, whole thing wrapped up in you know, I don't know, maybe ten episodes or so. Probably not. The guy I watched, he did I think fifteen. Gets it all the way up to the rockets, and getting you the the full rewards. You know, we got to do thirty thousand for the mission objectives, forty five thousand for the medallion. So it's gonna take some time. We're gonna get the season going. Good series and. Let me know what you guys think. Alright, come back for, uh, for part two.